Good evening, I'm Alison Moss. It is one of the biggest constitutional changes to be debated in Jersey, whether to strip the bailiff of his dual role as the island's chief judge, as well as president of the states. Critics say the role is flawed and leads to conflict, while others want to preserve the ancient historic rights. Despite a last-ditch attempt to delay it, the vote went ahead but was defeated 31 to 13. Luxby Gopal reports. Jersey's bailiff. You may have seen him speaking on Liberation Day or other formal events or in court. But one particular part of the role has been questioned. So what exactly is his role? To be honest, I don't really know. I've got no idea. No idea. What's the bailiff's role? Um, no idea. I've got no idea. He's something to do with government, is he? Keeps order in the States, I think. <laughs> and that's a part of the role being challenged. The bailiff is the island's chief judge, presiding over court cases here. And he's also president of the states, overseeing government sittings here. But critics say he shouldn't have a role both in where the laws are made and where they're enforced. I don't believe that an unelected person should be determining whether a state's member who has been elected can bring a proposition to the states or bring questions to the states. And that's a system we have. But some feel the alternative is worse. The Speaker will be elected by the Assembly. As we know, there is influence on the Assembly when it comes to voting. So somebody who supports the Council of Ministers may not give a fair hearing to backbenchers. At the moment, the bailiff is totally independent of any politician. The bailiff question has been raised before. Two independent reports have supported scrapping the dual role. But whenever it's been put to the states, it's been voted against. With a failed vote again today, will questions over the bailiff's role be shelved once and for all? Luxmi Gopal, BBC Channel Islands News, Jersey.